sovereign citizen, dude. It's happening, guys. You suck. I'm a sovereign citizen from Mexico. I know all about the gold bridge and how fraudulent it is. They hit me with a really strong dose of OC spray. I want to speak to you, Jess Rogers, now. I know the law is funny, and I'm waiting for you to do something wrong so I can sue you as a hawker. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? Hi folks. This is by far my most important video to date. I was recently contacted by an official of a small Texas town that is being terrorized by First Amendment auditors. I was presented with so much evidence that there's no way I can show it all to you, but I'll try to be thorough, so this video is going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos. I encourage everyone to share this on your channel. This video will surely be de demonetized because of the language in it, but this story must be told. These frauditors say that they're crusaders for the Constitution, and I'm going to show you that they are not. They are terrorists. They picked a very poor, very small town to target, and my goal is to shine a bright light on the dark side of First Amendment auditors. I've been given documents and recordings surrounding this situation, and I'm going to show them now. The central figure in the terror that is being visited upon this small town is Otter the Watchdog. Here is how he is described in the offense report that was sent to me. I've redacted the information that you see as X's to protect Otto's personal information. Knowles is a private citizen who travels around the country engaging in activities that include confronting law enforcement officers and government employees, berating them with verbal attacks, refusing to identify himself, and oftentimes refusing to obey lawful orders, videotaping his encounters before uploading them on social media platforms. His mission appears to be spreading discord and chaos through his YouTube channel that attracts followers who make contributions to support his efforts. He posts these agency and city phone numbers and encourages his followers to call Flood. Winston Knowles identifies as a First Amendment auditor. That description is in keeping with what you are about to see. I'm here in Hawk Cove, Texas. Uh, it's Hunt County, and it's known as the poorest state or the poorest city in Texas. Uh, I was donated a, uh, a truckload of food from Victory Baptist Church. I wonder if that church condones his signs and tactics. The police chief of the city told me that I would have to have a permit. But the system is not going to fuck itself. So... <laughs> so I'm here to do it for them and uh, if I can it, you know give some food away to people who need it that'd be awesome too he just told us right here that his goal isn't to give away food that's just an excuse to spread hate in a small town that has few resources to fight back against Otto and his mob and what are you doing here I was called with a complaint by a citizen that called the chief of police and the chief of police referred me here. Okay, well, I, I, I told the when we get a complaint, we have to act on it. Okay, what I does that sign have to do with giving away food? Absolutely nothing. When we get complaints from citizens about you uh -huh. and that your sign and your actions are causing a disturbance, that legally constitutes disturbing the peace. It looks pretty peaceful to me, man. I, we get phone calls. People come by. They're not going to stand here and confront you because they don't know what kind of idiot you are. A citation for giving food away. I just got a ticket. I just got a ticket for giving food away. So after he got cited and went to court, he decided to actually get a permit. But as you'll see, he has a problem with honesty. Why did you put charitable distribution activity? Because, well, it's, it's not, honestly, it's not even really a charity. I'm just... Well, that's what I'm saying. So you're lying on the application? Because you... you well, know. I don't... Okay, wait. Okay. You told the judge yesterday that what you were doing was not charitable activity. And if it's not charitable activity, then why did you circle charitable activity? Well, I guess that just, just depends on definitions. Giving food away is charitable, but, but it's not necessarily a charitable activity. I'm not going to argue a point. I'm not trying to argue a point. You know, I just don't want to get in trouble and get another ticket. But you're lying on an application. Well, okay, well, let me scratch out that word then. It is a charitable activity, isn't it? Right? I'm giving the food away. Yeah, but that you're saying, you told the judge yesterday it was not a charitable activity. Well, the district... So which is it? 
It's both, and also neither. It's political, social, religious, and charitable activity. Yes. Hmm. Oh, okay, so do you need another application? Because you told the judge yesterday in yeah. court that you were not it, well, doing a charitable was activity. Was I? Did I? Was, was it recorded? Mr. Knowles. Yes. Hi, Judge Cushino. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm great. Okay. Point of fact. You sat there, you stood there in court and said it's not a charity. Okay. I'm not a charity. We're, we're not, to do. We're not going to try to do some... Oh, Please, I stop don't, with the attitude. I don't want to no get... I don't want to get... I'm just trying not to get in okay, trouble, man. Well, change the application to political or however you want. It's not charity. I know you're using it as a tool to get people to come listen to your word, whatever that word is. It wasn't my point in court to figure out what you're trying to get across to the people. Okay. Fill it out correctly. Do not put charity because it is not charity. I guess Otto didn't like getting his wrist slapped, so he did what any good citizen does, and he escalated his harassment, going so far as to try to interrupt a after-hour staff meeting at City Hall. I wonder what they're doing in there behind locked doors. After hours. Let me see if they'll let me in. Well, there's definitely people in there. I wonder why the door's locked. Because it's after hours, you idiot. I'm going to try knocking on this door again. Maybe they'll let me in. Would you call that harassment? You could maybe make a case that it's not, but I've been presented with voicemails that were left on the City Hall's phone service by Otto and his followers. I could never begin to play them all because there's more than I can count, but here's some of them. They're not for the faint of heart. You fucking bitch. Yeah, hey, I just was trying to figure out who this blonde cunt is that thinks you need a fucking permit to take a picture or whatever. What does Gash think that she has power over everybody simply because she bleaches her fucking hair? God damn. You guys are backwards. I mean, inbreds in Texas are backwards, but you guys are really backwards. And you're just praying for a fucking lawsuit. This cunt has definitely gone way over the line, and somebody needs to set her fucking straight before you get a huge lawsuit and lose whatever Hawk City office has to offer. Fucking gash, man. You guys are fucking backwards assholes. And if you want to call me back, Fucking do so. If you're any kind of police, you have my number. Hi, um, I want to come there um, and see the poor people, but I'm afraid that the, the, I would like the chief of police to call me, so in that way I know if I come there I would be arrested or my rights violated by the chief of police and her um, sheep dog. With the buddy. So if you could give me a call back, I would highly appreciate it because we want to give free food away according to the religion, according to our basic human right. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, I was calling to find out if y'all tried to illegalize the feeding of the poor, the feeding of the hungry. seeing reports and rumors that that's what's happening, that y'all are willing to escalate a situation where someone's feeding the poor and escalate that into a violent situation, a moral and peaceful situation that y'all change and escalate into a immoral and violent situation. This is just the beginning of my investigation. Ultimately, I like to get to the core and the essence of the evil in the organization. We generally find that near the top, find it some kind of trickle down. Principle philosophy that instills evil throughout the department and tries to spread itself throughout the community and grow. And we try and put, a, uh, put an end to that fucking evil. I'll have to call back. I'm calling during the normal hours. But apparently, uh, what you say are your normal hours, uh, 
like yarn available at. So I'll call right back just in case it was one of them fluke And then I'll call back again and again and again in case it wasn't one of those fluke or But instead it's just lazy fucking living off the taxpayer piece of shit government workers. But yeah, I'll be calling back. Yeah, I heard that you're open on Friday. It's 217 on a Friday. I got voicemail again now for the second time. Not sure if you're just super busy, or if you're just lazy, trying to get a hold of some picker people. See if we can't put the evil in them to rest. I'll let the goodness flourish. I call back. I can hit the redial button. I'll do that. Hey, I'm going to give Ray some free food. What do I got to do? Like, got to get some kind of special permit? You guys going to arrest me like you did this guy on TV? Wow. Get a clue and honor the Constitution and our rights. Do you think it's harassment yet? This is just the beginning. Would you let somebody talk to your mom like that? How about your daughter? This is for the chief of police in Hawks Cove, Texas. Fuck you, you asshole. Now, do you find that offensive? Would you like to give me a ticket for being disorderly? Go ahead and fuck you. After months of this, City Hall started blocking the phone numbers of some of the habitual callers. And then this happened. You better fucking think twice before you block Eric's fuck top rant from your fucking phone system, bitches. I'm a fucking train wreck. And you can't afford Eric's fuck top rant. Ask Westminster how much they spent to fight me. Millions. Millions. You don't sell enough meth in that city to pay me. You better fix your fucking shit because I'm not coming to get you. Okay, so now not only did you block Mr. Knowles, but you instantly blocked me. You done fucked with the wrong bitch today. I'm coming down to Hawk Cove today. You better have guns drawn, bitches, because I'm going to make a fucking mess out of your goddamn city. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Huh? Tell that fucking two-bit bluesy whore that she better fix her shit. Because- Hello. Uh, my name is Eric Brandt, and I'm assisting Winston Knowles with his legal representation and you have 24 hours to unblock his phone number from your city or we're going to file a claim against you you don't get to do that do you think i'm fucking kidding well think what you want there's only 500 people in your town you can't afford for me to come to town bitch fix your shit all of this is not an isolated incident these frauders routinely give the phone numbers to city agencies and encourage their followers to call let's listen to otto himself making one such phone call 
Yes, I was wondering if any uh, sheriff deputies have committed suicide this week. I'm sorry, what? I was wondering if any of your dirty little piggies have shot themselves in the fucking head this week. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is it? Yes. What can I help you with? Uh, you could, uh, you could, uh, uh, send some armed men to stop shutting down businesses. That would be awesome. Yeah, because uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that those guys in the, oh, you hung up because I had something important. Oh, you didn't hang up. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. Some other, uh, band of gang members, uh, uh, masquerading as legitimate, uh, law enforcement is calling me. I have to, I have to take this call. I'm sorry. Please commit suicide. Hello? Oh, excellent. Um, put, potentially, you said Liberty, South Carolina? Yes, sir, it is. Oh, I, I was trying to get a hold of Pick, of, uh, Pickens. That's right, Tom, Pickens. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so if you, um, uh, I guess the only way you'd be able to help me is uh, to send a message uh, to the Pickens uh, chief of police and uh, ask them to, um, oh, I don't know, uh, jump off a cliff or, um, I guess, I, I, I mean, I guess they could draw their sidearms, but that gets messy, you know, and that's just not fair to the citizens of their town. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. No, I, I would I would rather not be put on any more list than I already have been. Uh, this is basically just a reminder that, that if you keep poking people, eventually people are going to have enough of that shit. So ask yourself, do you want these people in your town? Do you want them calling your city hall while they are trying to process the deed to your new house? Or filing your marriage license? Or finalizing adoption paperwork for the newest member of your family? We love to point and laugh at these idiots getting arrested. I love it as much as anybody, but let's look at the words from someone from this small town that is under siege. The staff for this city, myself included, have been terrorized by these people. Every single staff member is having anxiety issues over this. Most have been treated medically and are being medicated. This has gone far beyond what could be considered normal behavior. We've been relentlessly tormented and the harassment continues. You know that they are desperate when someone reaches out to my little channel for help. Again, please share this video far and wide and maybe something will be done about this nonsense.